Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Uh, uh, we will be, my name is Eric. We'll be covering the topic factors and we'll be looking at the subtopic prime factorization of composite numbers. So on this, we'll start by looking at the meaning of So on this, we'll start by looking at the meaning of prime factorization. We we'll look at uh, successive division method of prime factorization. We we'll look at using a factor tree in prime factorization, and at the end of the session, we'll be able to give you some assignment that will take you through this. I mean, to help you with understanding, at least to help you practice on the same concept that you have learned through this session. So we have our first example here where you are supposed to use successive division method so it is successive division method to express the following numbers as a product of prime factors in power form and we are starting with the number 12 so you just need to write the number 12 and then you try and find the smallest prime number that can divide that number 12 which is 2 and then you divide successively or continuously until you have the remainder down here as 1. So 2 divides into 12 6 times. The next smallest prime number that can divide 6 is 2. So it divides, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. And the next prime number that can divide 3 is 1. So the only time you stop is when you have 1 as the remainder down there. That means then 12 can be written as 2 by 2. Three. So basically what you do is to multiply these numbers on this other column, the first column here. Now, on this column here, you can only use prime numbers like 2, 3, and any other prime number that may be appropriate. Because remember now we are restricted to prime factors, so you can only use prime factors and not any other number. Then number two, we are supposed to express the number as a product of its prime factors, which we have done, but then that is supposed to be done in power form. So when you talk about power, what does it mean? So when you write a number like 4 equals to 2 power 2, that is 2 squared equals to 4, then this 2 squared is what you call the power form of 4. The power form of of 4. So this number written as a, as, as a superscript, the one written here, is what we call the power. So this is a base and the other one is called power. So 2 down here is called base and the one written on top there is called power. And this form is what we are calling power form. You know, the number is 4 but then it can be written as 2 power 2. So the 2 power 2, which is the same as 4, the 2 power 2 is what we're calling the power form of, of 4. So let's try 20. We do the same thing. We start with the smallest prime number that can divide 20, and that is 2. So it divides 20 10 times. So the process is supposed to continue until when you have 1 remaining down there. So we have 2 again, uh, dividing into 10 5 times. And now 5 is not divisible by 2, neither is it divisible by 3. So after 2, you are supposed to proceed to 3. But now this number 5 here is not divisible by 3. So we proceed to 5, which is the next prime number after 3. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. So this is the only time that you are supposed to stop when you have 1 remaining down here. And of course now 20 can be written as 2 power 2 power, I mean 2 times 2 times 5. So this is what we call a product of the prime factors of 20. So in this case, we have the prime factors as 2 and, and, and 5. So we have 2 by 2 by 5. But then there is additional information that is given that is supposed to express the number as a product of its prime factors in power form. So take note of the power form. So how do you express this number in there, this, this product here in power form? So you start with the first prime factor, which is 2, and then you check the number of times the prime factor 2 is appearing in the product. So it's appearing 2 times, and that becomes the power. 
So it's, re it, it's written as 2 power 2. The next prime number that is appearing in the product is 5, and then you also check the number of times that 5 is appearing in the product, and that is 1, so that becomes the power of 5. And therefore, 20 written as a product of, of, of its prime factors in power form should be 2 power 2 multiplied by 5 power 1. So how about 100? So we have 100 here. So again, the smallest prime number that uh, is a factor of 100 is 2. It divides 150 times. The next one is again 2. It divides 50, 25 times. Now the next one is 5. 5 times. Remember, we are supposed to continue until when you have 1 as the last number down there. So 5 divides 5 once. And then we stop. And then now we are supposed to multiply these ones here. So 100 as a product of prime factors is 2 times 2 by 5 by 5. Basically, multiplying these numbers here, the 2, 2, 5, 5. Then now in power form, you simply identify the prime, the prime factors that are in the product. So the first one is 2, and then you check the number of times this 2 is appearing. That becomes the power of 2. And then again, the next one is 5. Check the number of times 5, appear, 5 is appearing in the product, and that is 2 times. So 100 expressed as a product of its prime factors in power form becomes 2 power 2 multiplied by 5 power 2. So we have example 2 here. Use a factor tree method to express the following numbers as a product of their prime factors in power form. The same, the same question, but now the method used is supposed to be different. Now we're supposed to use a factor tree method. So I want to start with 8. So you are still going to identify the factors. So the factors are supposed to be, so you start with two branches here. So on this side, on the left, I'm going to write the factors. And then on the, on the right, I'm going to write the, the results. For example, 2 divides 8 four times. Then again, the next factor is 2 dividing 4 two times. So this is supposed to continue uh, as long as we have not gotten all the prime factors. So you see this 4 here is not a prime number, so you're supposed to continue and subdivide it further. So now we have the prime factors here. So when you are done, after getting all the prime factors down, the, down here, then now you simply multiply them, you know. So you're going to write 8 as 2 by 2 by 2. And this is what you're calling the product of prime factors of 8. You know, 8 expressed as a product of its prime factors. So the only prime factor here is 2, but 2 has been multiplied here three times. So... How about the power form? So as we did in the previous case, you simply identify the prime factors in the, in the product. And in this case, it's only 2. And then you check how many times that 2 is appearing in the product, and that becomes the power. So 8 expressed as a product of its prime factors in power form should be 2 power 3. It's 2 power 3 because there is no any other, any other prime factor in the product. We can only see 2 on, 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 the, on the product here. So 2 only is appearing. So we'll only use 2 power 3. To mean 2 is appearing 3 times. And that's why the power here is 3. Let's try uh, part B of the question, which is uh, 18. So we're supposed to express 18 as a product of its prime factors in power form. Remember, we, ca we can use successive division method. But now here we are going to use factor tree. We're going to use factor tree method. So we have 18. On the left-hand side of the two branches, we're going to identify the factors. And you normally start with the smallest prime factor. Remember here we are restricted to prime factors only. So we have two. 
dividing into 18 how many times and that is 9 and then this is now 3 3 so somebody asked a question why didn't we stop at 9 so we only stop when we have we have subdivided the number into prime factors only so 9 is not a prime number so we can stop there so then we will identify all the prime factors 2 3 and 3 and then we simply multiply them that means 18 here can be written as a product of its prime factors as 2 power 3 i mean 2 times 3 times 3 you see 2 is here 3 is here and 3 is here then there is this uh, other bit of it in power form so in power form we have done we have done this before and uh, basically what you need to do is to identify the prime factors in the product starting with the first one which is 2 and then check the number of times 2 is appearing in the product and that is 1 that becomes the power of this prime factor here multiplied by the next prime factor that is appearing in the product is 3 and check the number of times 3 is appearing in the product and that is 2 so this number is written as a product of these prime factors in power form as 2 power 1 multiplied by 3 power 2 c which is the last one on this example so we want to express 90 as a product of its prime factors in power form remember we are now using factor tree so again you start with just you know this takes the analogy of a tree where we start with just this the stem and then we have a branch on this side another branch on the other side then this branch has you know two other branches and this one again has you know so it takes you know the shape of a tree so on the left hand side we have agreed we are writing the factors so you start with the first prime factor which is 2 and 2 dividing into 90 45 times then 3 uh, 15 times then 3 again 5 times so now we have all the prime factors here so that means 90 written as a product of its prime factors will be 2 by 3 by 3 by 5. Just multiply them as they appear here. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is the number 90 expressed as a product of its prime factors. But then the last bit is in power form. So how do you express it in power form? So as we have said before, you just identify the prime factors that are appearing in the product one after the other. So in this case, we'll start with 2 and then check the number of times 2 is appearing in the product once. That becomes the power of 2. Then the next prime factor that is appearing in the product is 3 and then check the number of times 3 is appearing in the product. That is 1, 2. So that becomes the power of 3. And then the next prime fact appearing in the product is 5 and how many times does 5 appear in the, appear in the product is once that becomes the power of 5 therefore the number 90 expressed as a product of its prime factors in power form becomes 2 power 1 3 power 2 and 5 power 1 so 2 power 1 times 3 power 2 times 5 power 1 So there is a, a question here that is supposed to help you with the practice and just to, to gauge your understanding of the concept through the discussion. And uh, do make attempts and then you can be posting the responses on the, on the comment section. You'll be able to look at them and you'll be able to give feedback accordingly. Otherwise, that marks the end. Goodbye.